Hi, my name is Ali Dikowicz. I'm a junior dual major in television, radio, and film, and writing and rhetorical studies. And I'm here to talk about some of my internship experience. Ali, can you talk a little bit about what you did last summer and what you did into the fall in terms of your internships? Uh, this past summer, I interned with MTV in their news and docs department on a docu-reality show called My Life is Liz. And um, basically, uh, I was able to get that internship through a connection that I made at Sleepaway Camp when I was 16 years old, and I kept in touch, and I was persistent. And then when the time came, and I was uh, a sophomore going into my junior year, I was eligible for the internship, and I was able to get it. And, uh, uh, you know, it was a great experience. It was in New York City, so that was really fun, um, being from New York, but getting to be submerged into the city and learning the streets and the subways everything and going around doing production errands and, and helping out on set um, was just a great experience. Uh, I did everything from, you know, organizing receipts, to, you know, for reimbursements to actually going on set. One day we worked with dogs from a, from a rescue shelter and uh, I had to walk about three or four of them and hold on to them in between shots and stuff like that. So that was, you know, interesting. And uh, in the fall, I was in Los Angeles for the SULA program, and I had two internships, one with Conan at TBS um, on his brand new show. They hadn't even had the set built when I got there in September. And the other one was with a startup website with Fred Silverman, an SU alum, uh, called Blip City. Uh, the name is subject to change, though. Um, I'll talk more about Conan. It was uh, probably more fun to talk about. Um, Basically, I got the internship through entertainmentcareers.net, which may, may sound weird, but you are it is possible to get an internship through them. And so I sent an email out, heard back from uh, the office coordinator the next day, and uh, we were in touch, and I got an interview, and then I got the internship. And from there, it was a lot of general production stuff, helping to actually get hit the ground running with the show, because it wasn't a show yet. Um, they had the host, they had the band, they had the sidekick, they just needed the actual format done. So I did everything from helping with wardrobe to assisting with uh, talent, um, stocking the refrigerator, running out to you know pick up boxes from Conan's house. Um, a lot of little stuff that I learned truly helps to, to shape a television show. A lot of stuff that you may deem insignificant, but from a from a, the grand scheme of things, if it's not done, the show can't happen. What was your favorite part of the internship with Conan? My favorite part of the internship was Con with Conan was definitely getting to interact with, um, you know, people who are actually doing this. You know, the producers, Conan, Andy Richter, um, and, you know, even some of the guests in, in general. Uh, my best experience there was before the show launched, TBS and Konico, which is Kona's production company, got together to do the 24-hour live Coco Cam. And basically what it was, was that there was a camera set up in the stairwell of the Conan offices, and they set up a bunch of different, um, ob not obstacles, but a bunch of different things to go out through the day, like um, punishment bingo. Um, someone was reading Shakespeare while other people were trying to to uh, distract him. Um, there was a dancing taco and a dancing Taco Bell, actually. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. I was up for 23 hours that day helping out. Um, I was on camera a few times interacting with like, Andy Richter, which was great. And um, I really learned how you know a 24-hour thing works. I, I never knew that was possible, but everyone stayed up uh, for a long time to make that work. And of course, other great parts about Conan were, you know, being in the presence of Conan O'Brien, which is great, but also being able to gain real hands-on experience on a television show that films four days a week and then does some pickups and, and small pre-filmed scenes on Fridays. And, um, you know, just, just getting to see what it's all like behind the scenes. It was really my first step into um, a real television show because I'd worked on docu-reality at MTV, which is a little bit different, um, but... You know, when you get to a talk show, it's just so alive and, and, and vibrant and even sprightly. It's just so great there, and uh, it, it was a great experience. What advice would you give to students looking for an internship in the entertainment industry? First off, I would say 
don't be afraid because you know it may be a little intimidating to log onto a website like entertainmentcareers.net and think that there's millions of other people applying for the same job but there's also those people who are too scared to do it which narrows it down a little bit and uh, you'd be surprised at how often that you'd hear back from people quite fast actually I heard back the next morning I woke up with an email from the office coordinator at Conan and um, also networking is great but before you actually go and send emails out on LinkedIn and, and search for alumni on Facebook and in the alumni registry look within the people that you're most comfortable with like your family and friends you never know you know who your cousin's dating's you know he he may be in the entertainment industry you never know your mom's friend's cousin's sister may be a producer on a television show you know just mention in passing even what you want to do with your career to your mom to your sister to your cousin and you'd be absolutely surprised at how many people that they may know um, as I said, my connection for my MTV internship was with, um, was I made it sleepaway camp when I was 16. One of my camper's mothers was a development exec at MTV. And, you know, I kept in touch on and off for three years until I was eligible for the internship. And it happened. So, you know, don't ever be discouraged. Uh, it's never too soon. Um, and oftentimes it's not even too late because if you have that connection they may be willing to go the extra mile to help you out a little bit so just never be afraid to ask the worst that's gonna happen is someone's gonna say no but there's a million other opportunities out there thanks so much Allie no problem <laughs>